Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the wonderful world of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Skyrim is great. It has good characters, it has bad characters, it has confusing characters, and also, it has Nazim. No one likes Nazim. None of the citizens of Whitetron like him, and nor do the players. When Skyrim was first released over a decade ago at this point, Nazim quickly became one of the most popular and one of the most hated characters in all of the Elder Scrolls. Not all was bad though, because other than Jarl Balin, he's also one of the most memed about NPCs in the Elder Scrolls community as well. But Nazim is actually the saddest character in all of Skyrim. Here's why. Let's start with how he spends his days. Nazim is a very unlikable and mean Redguard. His day consists of going to the market district of Whiterun and insulting the various merchants that have goods for sale. After that, he goes to finish his day at the Drunken Huntsman, one of the two local inns in Whiterun. He then goes to sleep in the Drunken Huntsman as well and not chill for a farm. Remember that detail because we will be getting back to it. Now that we know what he does every day, it is time to break down the lies he tells to everyone and the Dragonborn. Nazim claims to advise the Jarl on political matters, but the thing is, Assuming you don't have any mods installed, Nazim never spends any time in or even near Dragon's Reach. Not one second. Also, no one in Dragon's Reach talks about or even mentions him in any situation. So Nazim isn't as important as he claims to be. We know now, Nazim does not advise the Jarl in any way. But at least he is rich and happily married, right? Well, the thing is, he isn't. His and his wife Ahlam's relationship is not going well. And there is evidence for this within a conversation Nazim's wife has with the priestess of Kinnereth, Danny Kapir Spring. There is a chance of a conversation triggering between these two characters containing these lines of dialogue. Danny Kapir Spring starts the conversation off by saying, Are you alright, Ahlam? You haven't seemed yourself today. To which Ahlam responds, It's nothing. I just... It's Nazim. How did we get to this point, Danica? Is there no love left between us? So Nazim's marriage is falling apart, but at least he is rich, right? Well, to put the nail in the coffin, Nazim might not actually be that rich. He and his wife both sleep in the drunken huntsman, leaving Chilfero Farm in the care of their employee, Wilmeth. But we don't actually know how much he earns, and considering the fact that he has lied to everyone about his relationship to the Jarl, and that he sleeps inside an inn while he should have a house, it is safe to assume he is lying about his wealth just to maintain his image. At the end of the day, Nazim lives a miserable and unhappy life, telling many lies to maintain his image. His wife doesn't like him, no one in Whitetron likes him, most players don't like him, and he might not be as rich as he claims to be. He is hated by everyone, and that is truly sad. Thank you for watching.